Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk again about the twin motion, but we will talk about PBR materials. So what is that PBR materials and how you make your visualization more realistic and more physically realistic, we will talk in this tutorial. Let's get started. Before we will transfer our model to the twin motion, I wanna show you how it looks like in real rendering in Revit. So let's say I'll change it. As you can see here is the brick, here is some concrete, titles, asphalt and, and other things. Okay, now we understand how it looks like here, so I will change again to the hidden, uh, hidden line, so it doesn't matter, change it or no. And I will go to the um, dynamic link here, I will find C in twin motion. Let's have a look like, like how it looks like in twin motion. I will create the new project. As you can see here is um, our standard materials as you can see. But uh, what I don't like straight away, I don't like the my light direction. As you can see my light going from that side, I cannot see properly my materials. So let's change it here under the vegetables and here you will find the lo uh, localization. And let's change the north. I will change the north. Not so dramatically, something like that. And let's disincrease a bit the sun. Sun we will find here, uh, daytime, and let's make it not so high, like this maybe. Okay, this is what I want. Let's I will show you the, my statistics. Here you will see how the, my materials are uh, loading my PC. Right now it's, um, it doesn't loading because the, this material is pretty standard from the Revit. Yes, this is standard materials from the Revit. Let's change this standard materials to the twin motion materials. For example, here, here I want to use the brick. Let's find here the brick. Uh, you will find this under the materials brick. And let's use, for example, here um, maybe some this bricks, clean brick. I will a bit increase the scale, maybe like this. Yeah. Now you can see here is my brick. Yeah, looks not not so bad. Looks really pretty cool. Uh, with the, some bump, as you can see, we have some bump uh, between the bricks. And uh, yeah, it's usable for the archways. But as I said, we will speak today about the PBR materials. So, and to create uh, real PBR materials, I want to use the clear material. So, let's use this small button and you will find here the material. So, let's click on it and let's apply this um, material without nothing for to the our wall. Let's apply it and as you can see here, nothing. Only the clear white color and let's create our own material so where i can get the pbr materials actually i'm using for this um for this moment i'm using the quixel bridge as you can see here i have some materials even i have some free materials i can create my own materials you can buy the materials you will find for example here a lot of the different bricks you can download it and not just download the texture you will download all the sets for example Let's have a look on this brick. You will download all the sets to get the kind of the brick in your engine. Doesn't matter what, which type of the engine you're using. Yeah, I using the Twin Motion, Lumen, or maybe 3D Max or something else. You will find here for the all the types of your tasks or something else. Okay, so uh, I have some standard materials already here. So and let's have a look how it's work. Uh, let's try the decking to, to create something interesting and I will export it so as you can see 8k so it's, it's really huge format but anyway this is what I want I will use default export and let's export it uh, while it will export I will uh, it's already done <laughs> it's okay for us so let's open up the my uh, my folder wood planks and as you can see here all the sets from this material we should get the results something like that so this is pretty cool right so what we're gonna do i will just copy the mm, folder i will go back to the twin motion and let's start from the diffuse map let's go to the more and here you will find uh, diffuse map now it's called t generic so that it is, means nothing let's open up and I will show uh, this folder this way. I will use the albedo. Let's use albedo. Let's say OK. Now the twin motion will apply my diffuse map to the mm, this diffuse map. So it will take time because it's 8K. It's really huge format. 
Of course, uh, the material now, as you can see, it's so small. Let's go back. Um, let's go back material and let's make scale much bigger. Let's go 10. Not 10 is too much, maybe 5 or 2. So we will live on the 5, so it's not bad. As you can see, here is my material. It looks already not so good and not so bad. Anyway, the texture, as you can see, it's not really, really nice. Let's go to the reflection. Here we will find refle reflection. So let's load it up. And I will load ambient occlusion here. We just will test how it looks like because it's we don't have any straight away um, exporting to the twin motion. Anyway, anyway, we have the materials. So let's I'll change the light because I cannot see nothing. So with my lights, I will say the north, maybe something like this, and let's um, load inside to the twin motion some light. We need some light something like that um, let's place it somewhere here and i will increase the intensity not so much mm, i just maybe only nine nine hundred so this is, will be enough for us okay so let's leave it like that let's go back to the material we can do like this and otherwise reflection is zero Let's make it like maybe 25, let's increase a bit much. As you can see, it's nothing, so let's change I.O. I mean, I mean ambient occlusion to the roughness. I know it's not for the roughness, but anyway, I want to get some reflection. It's still loading. Okay, okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. We have some reflections. Okay, this is what I want. Uh, let's make maybe um, 50 percent. No, 50 is too much. Uh, 30, 30 or 35. 30. Let's leave it 35 percent. No, it's not too much. We will leave on the 30 percent. So, as you can see, this is now much better. But we still don't have any bump. But it looks like we have some bumps, really. So we will go to the settings, and here the, for the metalness, of course, we will use the roughness. Let's open up. Let's use the roughness for metalness. Let's open up. Again, it will take time. All these materials will take a really, really a lot of them. Um, a lot of the power from your PC or laptop. I don't know what they're using. Uh, so let's go back and let's make the metalness or 10%, maybe even less. So we don't need much. So yes, this is what we want. Uh, let's go to the material and we will find now the BAMP. So the BAMP, this is what we want. Let's open the BAMP and we will use the normal map for the BAMP. Let's open up and now we will get some um, deep inside uh, the rendering. Just give a second. Okay, here we are. Uh, as you can see, it's nothing changed. Let's say I'll go back to the settings and it increase BAMP to the 25%. Oh yes, this is what we want. Uh, let's change to the 10%. Yeah, maybe even 15% will be looks like great. Don't do it much. I know you will pretty like when it's like that, but it's not so realistic. So 50%, 15% will be enough. Like this, the 15% we will live on that. As you can see, it now looks like much better. So what we're gonna do next? Next, uh, we'll go to the glow. And for the glow, I will use again uh, ambient light. So let's use the ambient light. Just give it time again. Okay, let's check it out. I wanna increase the glow. No, glow, it's uh, not will we use some bend light. Oh, yes. Day cycle. Yeah. And I will change actually the glow light to the roughness. Okay. Let's check it out. Yeah. We will leave like that. Let's go to the setting. Uh, now I will change, for example, my daytime. So this is night. Oh, yeah. It's really, it's really cool, guys. What you want to say about that? 
Okay, this is what about the decking. So as you can see, we can we can get really nice decking from the PBR technology. So let's talk about something else. Like uh, let's go here. Now I will apply another new material. Let's apply it. And here I have, for example, meta mm, some metal. As you can see, only roughness, nothing else. So <laughs> this is pretty enough for us. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do? I will leave the color as it is. I will go to the settings and I will apply it for the metal the my roughness. Let's I'll apply it like this. It will take time again, so we will wait. Okay, here we are. With the, we cannot see nothing because uh, our metalness it's <laughs> only zero. Let's make ninety percent. Ninety percent. Okay, something already okay, but the problem is our uh, scale. As you remember, our scale is number 5 at least. So let's make it the 5. As you can see already, we can see something like the scratching. Let's use for the color of our um, uh, map 2, our roughness. I will use it for color 2. Okay, so and even we should increase maybe 10. Let's make it 10. Yes, 10 is much better. So we did 10. But it's not looks like metal, right? So we should increase reflection. Maybe reflection like eighty percent, eighty percent, and we should change our reflection also to the our roughness. Okay, we did it. So how it looks like? So this is like a metal, but uh, I want to use some bump. I want to use some bump. So anyway, you can see here it's not so. Um, it's not so. Refle uh, we, ne we need not get you know, here the clear ref reflection. Somewhere we have, somewhere not. So let's change the sun direction again. I want to see how it looks like on the sun, some uh, other sun direction. Let's change it something like maybe that one. As you can see, it's not a render even. It's just viewport. On the render, we will get more much better result. As you can see here, we get not reflection. Here is the reflection. So this is what we want. Uh, actually, you can use the sun bump. It's not so bad. Uh, now it's standard bump, so you can use in any bump what you want. As you can see here, now the plaster. Well, I wanna change it to the my uh, roughness, and we will disincrease. I mean, it's so big the mm, bump. You can use the, your own bump, not just from the roughness. Um, you can get uh, like some uh, special texture. Who knows? And I will get the bump maybe only ten percent maybe even 5%. Okay. So this is what I want. As you can see, we get the metal and it looks like metal. Uh, just like example, I will use some metal on the ground. So let's find here the metal. Um, metal. Okay. And for example, we are using some scratching metal. Otherwise, we will find the some scratching metal. Maybe if we will have it here. Okay, we don't have any some scratching metal, but I will use, for example, this metal. And as you can see, this is twin motion metal, this is uh, real PBR metal. It's really, uh, we have the difference between two of them. Just check it out. Okay, and let's uh, check it out the one more material. Uh, it's about the ground. As you see, the same, same principle I used, uh, for example, for the ground. As you can see here, the my PBR ground, and let's apply some ground here on the right side. So maybe we will use some dirt. Let's find the dirt. Now let's try find it like this dirt. It's not here. Maybe here. Okay, rocky dirt. And just check it out which is better. This is PBR, this is uh, from um, the twin motion. Okay, so we understand how it's working. Uh, now let's do one more thing. I mean, one more PBR uh, texture. Uh, let's go back now to the my uh, Megascans uh, Quixel uh, bridge. And we will use, for example, this concrete damage, or maybe this is concrete plaster. Um, actually, I like more the plaster. It looks like more interesting. Let's export it. I will check it out. Uh, do I have everything? Yes, I do have everything. By the way, you can change the scale if you want texture, texture resolution. 
This is really important because uh, I'll show you why. If you will check it, the texture loading, it's three, uh, three and half GB, right? This is really huge, really huge. Uh, the space we are taking only for the PBR. So the first rule, if you want to use the PBR, use only in, in that side where your camera is really uh, close to the this texture. If it's really far, don't use it because you will uh, stack your PC at all. Let's go to the materials. Uh, let's find our plaster. Here is our plaster, Albedo. Let's load it inside. So it's really quick because it's only 2K. It's not uh, 8K like we did before. Uh, now I will use the optical mask and I will do the scale maybe 5. I wanna be it did it's a big a bit, bit bigger. Uh, let's use the some reflection map. Let's open up it. I will use the AO to the reflection map. So here we are. Let's a bit increase it. I will do my camera like that. Now you can see the difference. Okay, and what we're gonna do next? Next I will go to the of course the bump. Let's use the bump. Open up. Here is my BAMP, normal map, it's not will take much time, uh -huh, it's here already, and let's use it maybe not so much, 60% it's okay. And I also need metalness, where is my roughness, here is my roughness. Just few seconds, okay here we are, and let's apply some roughness. So just check it out how it looks like. Now I will change the sun direction and you will see how it's play around. As you can see, for example, on the, uh, look on this side. Like you have here the some damage, right? So, and sun playing with this damage. Uh, by the way, guys, don't forget this is only viewport and even it's not high uh, high settings. I don't think so. Let's I'll check it out. It's not ultra, so let's use the ultra one. Yeah, it's now. Now it's really uh, we have real difference, as you can see. Just I, I will silent. Just check it out by yourself. Okay, and have to just let check this one. And now I will render it, and you will see how it looks like after render. So guys, if you find this tutorial really interesting, uh, I will uh, I, I will really uh, appreciate it. So don't forget about the comments and the likes. Uh, and if you want to know more about the Quixel and how you can get the, this kind of materials and export it not only in Twinmotion, for example, to Lumion 2 or maybe some other render engines, just let me know and uh, I will show you how you can get kind of these materials. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.